What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Team Madden Gaming. I'm your host, Madden25. Today, we're going to be doing a segment called R versus B, Rent versus Buy. Should you rent it or should you buy it? I'm here to give you a quick preview of the game, and then I'll give you my opinion whether or not I think you should rent it or buy it. So with that being said, let's jump into it. Today's title is going to be Need for Speed Most Wanted. It is the newest addition to the Need for Speed series, and if you are a Need for Speed fan, such as myself, um, you've d you've probably already heard of this game. So, uh, notice recently I noticed that the price of this game went down a little bit. So, um, I feel as though this was a really good time to just put one of these videos out, uh, rent versus buy, just to. Um, give you guys some insight further insight on the game so um right now let's see i have the mercedes sl5 amg and about 22 percent um into uh completed into the game so i've been playing it a little bit i haven't been um you know playing the game every single day but from what i've played the game is i mean it's a lot of fun like i said i'm a I would, uh, I would say a, a hardcore Need for Speed fan. I've been playing it for a while. So I've definitely, you know, since like the PlayStation 1 days. So I've, I've definitely been a fan of this game for quite some time. And I can say that this particular title, um, the graphics visually are amazing. I'm playing it on Xbox right now, by the way. And as, you know, as most uh, Need for Speed games are, they're you know typically the graphics are really nice so the uh, gameplay wise um, right now like I said I have the Mercedes SL5 AMG um, the controls are pretty smooth it, it really it depends on which car you have it, you know the, the steering is really gonna vary so I, I do like that because some of the cars aren't that fun to drive so for example the Lamborghini isn't one of my favorite cars to drive just because the the steering and the handling it just it's kind of funky so this particular car is it's okay to drive um, I've unlocked a couple of parts for it such as the turbo see that blue stuff coming out the back it's my indicator for the turbo so that's part of the reason why I'm using this car right now just because I have a little turbo boost whoa oh look at that So I'm going to go into a quick race. Let's see here. So races. And I'll just do whatever race. Doesn't really matter at this point. So go ahead and start this race. Alright, let's jump into it. See how well I do. One thing that I do like about this particular game is it's far more challenging than previous Need for Speed games. It seems like I'm really struggling to get into a second or third uh, place position, which for me it adds to the playability factor of the game. It's because I want to get that that top spot constantly so I can unlock the best parts from my car and get the most XP points and the most money for each race so yeah it's a lot more challenging maybe that's why I'm only 22% finished with the with the game Oh yeah, 
ass. I'm just smashing in this car. Ooh. Love hitting those corners. There's certain cars that just handle the corners very well. That's that Ford GT in front of me. It's another fun car to drive. Oh, oh. Oh, wow, I just missed the turn. See what I mean? I mean, they make it very, very challenging. Yeah, I mean, you have your little... Whoops. Look at that. The crash uh, sequences in this game are pretty cool as well. So I'm going to drive through here. Fix up my car. Alright, got the red. Alright, look at that. Okay, so... I'm not even gonna look. At oh no! Wow. I took that guy down. I'm in seventh place right now. Okay. That's not impressive at all. Okay. And you're probably saying, well, you probably suck anyways. But I swear I usually come in at least third place. But whatever. At least you can kind of get the general idea of what the races are like. So, and then after you finish the race, it just takes you right back into your car. So, um, that's, I mean, it's pretty basic. The game, if you're not racing, it's pretty open world. Um, and if you have, if you're online, you know, with PS3 or Xbox Live, there's a, a lot of um, online gameplay as well. So, that's always fun. So I just switched into the um, ID R8. This thing is a beast. Ooh. Look at this guy, he's got his helmet on. I don't know about all that. But I will swing a couple of donuts. I mean, even if you're not, you know, like I said, trying to race the game, it's just fun to have the open world concept to where you can just drive wherever you want and find cool jumps or you know, find parts to drift or hit those straightaways and see how fast your car can go. So play you know, playability wise, there's a lot of stuff there's a lot of stuff to do and then when you on add on the um, online features as well, that just adds to the game. So uh, like I said earlier, I recently saw this game uh, drop in price a little bit, so that's why I wanted to do um, a R versus B segment uh, just because like I said I'm a fan of it and you know if you're a fan this might be a good time for you to pick up the title so uh, what is my opinion on this should you rent it or should you buy it I'm gonna say this is a definite must buy for um, you know anyone who just is a casual um, a casual gamer who just you know kind of likes to mess around and drive fun cars or if you're you know a fan of the need for speed series such as myself you know this is just gonna really be another fun game to put into your collection look at that I, and i love these crash scenes and the damage that it does to your car so like i said i'm gonna say this is a definite uh buy and go for the win and go ahead and get this title so for me like i said i'm gonna be able to play this game for the next I don't know, a couple of months and get a lot of playability out of it. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think in the uh, comment section. If you agree, disagree, think I'm crazy, and uh, any other comments you might have, any other games you might want me to, you know, uh, do a segment, you know, R versus B, so you don't have to go out there and waste your money on it or even, you know, waste your time and get it from. You know, a video store or Redbox or Gamefly. So let me know. And um, if you like the video, go ahead and show me some love and uh, hit that thumbs up button. And also be sure to subscribe. All right, guys, thanks a lot. And uh, see you soon.